Hello, hello. everybody. Hey. Yes, hey. hello. Hi, I'm Todd. Hi, I am Todd. here to introduce you to Jason and Steven's house. Um, we are about to go and see Jason's toy collection. I believe some of which he's been involved in the design of. Really? Yes. Have you ever seen a toy collection like this before? Absolutely not. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Okay. We're about to go inside. Toy collection galore. Hi, Robert. Hi, Jason. Hi. Hello. Jocelyn. Hi, Jocelyn. Jocelyn, have you ever seen a toy collection like this? It's amazing. I saw this toy collection two years ago, but never in my life anymore. No, I think else. it's a little bigger now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it just keeps growing. I didn't know if it was my imagination that it had gotten bigger, but it's amazing. Jason, tell us about your, your body of work right here. Uh, this is just toys that inspire me. I um, uh, These are all special, like, childhood memories, and uh, each one is, like, kind of... A little bit of my, a bit of my childhood. Okay, we're just gonna take a moment yeah. <laughs> just to, to just look around because this is absolutely amazing. <gasps> okay, for everybody out there, I am actually seeing this for the first time too. Normally, I will look around a room and see the kind of the lay of the land before we film. <gasps> I have not seen this before, and this is incredible. Robert, what do you think about this? Yeah, I'm used to it. <laughs> <laughs> no, he is. This no, thing? this is like he probably dusts everything too. But it's so neat and clean and so organized that it's just like, and this the stuff is so much fun. I mean, strawberry shortcake. I can smell and, strawberry shortcake know, right? from here. She, I love it, and the Care Bears, and okay, Jim, and it's, you know. everything. Um, okay, so we have Robert in the room now. Let's I, talk about. Do you have some Robert? Hunter dolls? There's the Wonder Woman stuff over there. Um, most of his stuff I have kind of packed away. <laughs> Cause Damn it, Jason. I know. I, <laughs> I used to have convenient. like a shrine to Robert, but <laughs> <laughs> then it got creepy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it's all kind of upstairs. I break down uh, like Elvira for Halloween, like the um, Christmas story. Ralphies are downstairs Ralphie. for. Okay, for the let's holidays. look at Wonder Woman though, because are there are a lot of. People tuning in. He's a Wonder Woman. Wonder yeah. Woman, is, are you Wonder a, Woman is my all-time favorite superhero. Why? Um, what she represents that, like, you know. What about Wonder Woman? That when you first met her. Um, the the strength and compassion. It's you know like she doesn't fight unless she needs to, and everything is tr she tries to uh, bring peace through understanding to the world. So. You're surrounded by all these amazing action figures, and Wonder Woman's your favorite? Yes. Without I love doubt. that. I love that about you. <laughs> all right, let's look. Well, I met Linda Carter a couple of years ago, and I don't get um, starstruck ever, and I was completely flabbergasted. I didn't know what to say, and Stephen had to kind of talk me down. When I, <laughs> like, I was just kind of... Uh, but she was just gracious, and she is the embodiment of Wonder Woman. How long have you been collecting? Uh, I never stopped from a child. Do you remember well. your first piece? Um, Sandy Seaweed. Sandy Seaweed? Okay. Uh, seaweed, a little mermaid doll. Let's the see. Bathtub seaweed. Right? Seaweed? Seaweed? Yes. Okay, point her out. Um, seaweed. There she is. But Coral was my favorite, the redhead. <laughs> And I would spend hours in the bath with the Lagoon playset. Are these Polly Pockets? They are. Those are the original ones. I am obsessed. <laughs> I love it. Jason, your collection is world class. <laughs> Thank you. It is amazing. And the little hubbubs, um, those were the first little like preschool toy that I remember playing with. You put those together and you could crank them and they all move. Can we see? Oh, well, the crank doesn't work that well. Pardon me, but. Oh, look there's at a him little, go. Oh. <laughs> there's a little mechanism that when you turn. Heather. Hi, Marty. Look at him go. Oh, He's such a happy little guy. Yeah, they're adorable. <gasps> Pooh's friendly places, little flocked figures, a lot of detail. 
I just, this is amazing. Look at your share collection. Just, just the one, but I love her and um, the failed <laughs> gorgeous creatures, but I was obsessed with those two. The animal dolls. They're very voluptuous. They look like strippers. Uh, this is this is so great. Now, who are these wow. girls representing? Those are uh, oh Gem and the Holograms. And these are uh, Integrity toys based on the original Gem dolls from the 1980s. No, no, no. No, no, no. What do you look for? Like, do you have a rule of thumb when you're looking to add something to your collection? No. Okay. It's whatever whatever kind of piques my interest and it's a lot of it's the stuff that I have in my personal collection is nostalgia um, or it has to speak to me um, but if something new comes out um, I'll pretty much pick anything up as long as it tugs at me in some way what are you interested in right now um, right now I'm really liking the toy box um, Star Wars and Disney stuff just the super stylized um, action figures. Uh, I'm really, really into Masterpiece Transformers, um, which are almost cartoon accurate, transformable figures. Um, and just Masters of the Universe, the classic stuff. Uh, but they're redone so that they're more articulated. Okay, <laughs> I have to say three words. Strawberry shortcake! Strawberry oh my gosh food. yeah like, this is amazing i uh, why kind of a, she, she, first of all she smells good she smells good and <laughs> just they're just so cute and i was just <laughs> always drawn to the sweetness of them yes um, i was interviewing with hasbro and they wanted me like they wanted edgy people and I'm you like, are I'm not edgy yes you are <laughs> I, i'm totally like i want to do sweet and cute Edgy is not my thing. <laughs> you are trending right now. This is so cool. Look at this. I've never seen... This has to be so rare. It's, this it's house. pretty much 100% complete. I'm just missing um, oh the piano. Oh my gosh. I love it. Look at this. A little snail. As, pulling. As I mean, it's just so... Oh, escargot. His head moves. As <laughs> you, and then there's a strawberry. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. And it transforms into, into a little Sunday. <gasps> oh, get out. <laughs> that is the funnest thing. So escargot and strawberry shortcake were my first strawberry shortcake toys. They were. Yes. Now, when you were a child, did you collect? Um, I didn't. Well, I yes. Um, I was always always into toys and i was very fortunate to have parents that um supportive. were very supportive in the mm -hmm. 70s like you know um letting me play with dolls mm -hmm. and were very cool about it yeah so so do you remember your first doll it was sandy seaweed and then um strawberry shortcake and then it just i stopped bringing them to school when i got teased but then i still kept buying them and playing with them <laughs> but you know that helped uh strengthen my resolve and who i was <laughs> absolutely it's so important and it, it's so nice that you're sharing this because when when people see other people doing this and the collecting it, it gives them permission to do it themselves well you know like a lot of people who aren't in the world um will be like um what's up with the toys <laughs> but you know like when you explain you know it mm -hmm. means something to you or you know it also helps that I'm a toy designer. So, so when you met your husband, did you say, um, I'm a toy collector? Yeah, I had to. When he first came into my my apartment, um, he was like, he was a little freaked out, but <laughs> after I explained, he, he now, calmed down. And he's totally into it. Well, he's very supportive, I have yeah. to say. Um, totally into it. Uh, totally into it is a little, he's supportive. Like it yeah. start, the, my collection's starting to kind of spread downstairs and he's like, that's gotta stop, but it's not going to. Well, as soon as I walked in and I saw the wonderful dolls on your mantle, I was like, oh my gosh, this is a place that I can like hang out. <laughs> I love this house. 
so you have this wonderful, incredible doll room, action figure room, toy room, whatever you, it may be. I feel so happy and safe in here. What are one of your like favorite things in the whole room? Oh, I know it's hard, it's hard but it's Robert's Wonder Woman. What? Four. Yay! Diana, Themyscira, and okay, Diana. Okay, let's look at her. Okay, Robert, and we happen to have just have Robert Tonner in the studio audience. So, um, Robert, tell us about designing this incredible doll. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, well, it was it was Wonder Woman, Gal Gadot Wonder Woman in her training outfit, and it was, it was a dream project to do. And Jason's always been a Wonder Woman fan, so. Uh, yeah. yeah. But I, this is one of the, my most favorite dolls of any that well, we've done. Yeah. Gal Gadot Wonder Woman is right there. And then we have the Wonder Woman up there. That's also Roberts from the movie. Was that cool, Robert, to be working on her and designing her and doing that? Yeah, that was wonderful. That was a great experience. And, and I also had the right people working with me at the time that, that could help me with the accessories and all mm -hmm. that. The, the accessories are amazing. And they're dead on to the movie. What I love about the body on this doll is that it is so art articulate in a way that you can pose her and do all these wonderful things and, and the torso, you can move and it's just, it's like revolutionary. I just love it. Well, also when you got into doing the metal pieces for the bracers and, you know, it's a molded bodice with the fabric, it was totally a game changer, I think, yeah, with, nobody, especially with the superhero yeah. stuff. You know, this is the sword movie. and shield. I was I thrilled. I mean, the Themyscira and uh, Princess Diana, you don't really see that much of. And then you see that with the, uh, the battle armor. I mean, she was kind of facing me here, but she got kind of replaced by Optimus. But, yeah. you know, she'll probably go back. <laughs> but also I was getting worried with the sun on her uh, yeah, breastplate. I didn't want it to get damaged. <laughs> well, you have an incredible collection. Do you have, do you have any rules of thumb? Buy what you like. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, like I used to be a completionist, and that stopped. So now it's if I will only buy something if I want it, not because I have to have all of them. So you know, that that saved me a lot of uh, heartache and time. <laughs> and a lot of pull, hair pulling when I couldn't find a very hard thing. And even if I didn't want it, I still needed to have it. I let go of that, so. That had to have been kind of a nice release. It was, it was a nice release, so. Just to but, let yourself be and enjoy. But I understand the completionists out there, like you gotta do what you gotta do, but you know, it was a big, <laughs> big relief for me <laughs> to stop that. Well, you've been at this a long time. What is something you would have told your yourself 20 years ago in the beginning of your craft that might have saved you a little bit of that stress? Um, I, I've i always been pretty uh, flexible with my collecting, mm -hmm. uh, but just, you know, keep everything, keep everything together and mm -hmm. try not to lose pieces because that's one of my, <laughs> yeah, one of my pet peeves. Sure. Like if something is missing, I, I will not let it go. So try to keep everything together and organized. What do you hope for the future? I just want to keep, I want to see new toys and the, the with technology changing, uh, I'm looking forward to what can be accomplished in, in design and execution of toys and where we go. Hopefully not as much technology driven and more of a return to physical toys. Okay, last question, and I love all of your answers. If you, if you could have Robert Tonner design anything in the world, sky's the limit, what would you have him do? Strawberry shortcake. Strawberry shortcake! <laughs> Without yes. a doubt. Or um, <laughs> strawberry shortcake, Thundercats, or the women of G.I. Joe. I'm, I'm gonna vote for strawberry shortcake. <laughs> what do you we think, Robert? <laughs> sure. I'm fine about it. <laughs> Who doesn't love strawberry shortcake though? I can't imagine. Yes. You know, like they're they've tried to revamp her, but I, I still this like is... 
<laughs> this is the most amazing strawberry shortcake collection I have ever seen in my entire life. You said you've been interviewed by Hasbro and I mean, my God, this is, this is amazing. Who's your favorite character from Strawberry Shortcake? Well, either Strawberry Shortcake or Blueberry Muffin. <sighs> okay, Robert, <laughs> yeah. here's your challenge. This is so great. Thank you so much. This was such a treat. My pleasure. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye.